Ik ben Maarten. Uh, zoals je ziet heb ik een beetje fijn haar, niet heel veel ook. Uh, ik heb het vaak graag een beetje kort aan de zijkant en achterkant, vrij kort en voor iets langer, zodat het een beetje in mijn voorhoofd blijft. Maarten is going to have uh, men's hairstyle en hij is een beetje thin hair, dus so hij wil uh, een beetje niet te kort, kort op de zijde, dus een beetje meer lengte op de top. En kan het maken een wonderful hairstyle. Maarten, wil je turn around for you and the rest of the world to show how your hair is now? He has a wonderful crown at the center. Thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube, can I do Martin's hair? Of course I'll start as always with protection. It's the first time he models for me. I don't wash his hair because I need to see what's going on. And when you want to make the perfect hairstyle of men, you don't wash the hair in front of it. You can do it. Well, it's real dirty, you can do it afterwards, but you have to see what the flow of the hair is. So first start by wetting the hair. Kijk ik in de camera of niet? Maakt niet uit. Maakt niet uit. Dat is kik, hè. Dat is het belangrijkste. Now his upper hair is a little bit thinning, so I will use a, a hot scissor on the top because that seals the hair so it don't split away and I'd like to hold it the way it is. We'll create wonderful sides with a hot razor and of course I will make a nice neckline. Is this popular in Asia? No, it's not. In Germany. Okay. Okay. Maar de Chinezen komen naar jou toch, zei je? Hè? De Chinezen komen naar jou toch, zei je? Ja, maar die komen voor de knippen. Die kennen ze in Azië niet. Oh, daarom komen ze? Ja. Vlak voor ze terug gaan, dan komen ze nog snel langs jou. Ja, en ook als ze op, op visite gaan uh, bij de familie. Maar ja, ze komen maar twee keer per jaar. Hè, dus, uh, maar ik heb er nu een paar gevonden die willen het model zijn. Dus ik ben kwart. Oké. Okay. Ook echte Aziaten in filmpjes. Want je hebt vaste modellen, denk ik? Ja, absoluut. Veel. Maar ik probeer ook zoveel mogelijk los te doen. Ik heb net een model gedaan wat ik nog niet kende. Mm -hmm. Dat is leuk. Start with the TCC One Care Cut. Put it on 140 degrees Celsius. Just lifting up the hairs. Holds in a nice round skull shape. Not too hard. Because I need the roundings of his head. And I know he has a wonderful crown area here in the back where I don't have enough length, so I have to use what I have. But then I lift it up, create a little bit more length on top, put it in an angle of about uh, what, 11 o'clock, I think 11, 10, 11 o'clock. So I leave a little bit more length on top. Take every time about uh, one half centimeters. Create a jumpy effect on the front by slice cutting. Bring this also to the back side of the running surface skull. This gives it a more playable effect. So I'm going to the left side, holding the same angle. Holding also some length on other sides, otherwise this skull becomes too round. Go over to point cut technique. Also open the running of the skull in the center. Now I'm going to take my hot knife and come to working with that. Uh, this is a thermos mess. I think there's a more grab I just want to go. Yeah. I want some more length on the sides, so I connect, connect the upper layers and I work in the lines of 
his chin because I like the lines of his chin because I can see them all over his face again. So that's why I use them. Pulling the hairs to the back, laying them in the rounding. And don't make hard lines. Take the upper hair on it, cross control, first only with the tip, and then make the length. This hot razor is 190 degrees Celsius and it seals the hairs. And when the hair is wet, you don't burn your hands. Coming on the ear, get into the roundings, put it on the center of the ear, and now go in the line of the skull lines using the eyebrow bone as a guide. When I get on the top layer, I'll use a point cut technique, but that only with the knife. And when I come to the other la layers, I get a flat knife on the hairs. Pull them back, cross control again. Watch as the shapes of his skull. And all the, all the lines in nice falling lines. Not too hard. Just nice playable so you can do a lot with it. But still it's a lot shorter. On the center of his skull. Here work from below up to the upper layer. I notice here was his crown area. So I take this crown area into the rounding it has. So I know when I copy the rounding, I certainly have the same length all over on all the hairs. Go with the opposite line again and get a cross control over it. Now here I didn't take off anything, only uh, two millimeters or something like that. So I need that length. Go over to the neckline, over the skull bone down. Creating a nice soft man's hairstyle. Him so you can see a little bit more of his back. On top, just the tip of my knife, then into the roundings. Go around into the center line. On the center line, mostly the hairs go straight down. Show you that's a little bit more nearby. So on the right side, I take the rounding over the center line. On the center line I bend to the center, then I go to the other side, lift it over. Let me guide by the skull line, you still see him. And now I show you why I leave this a little bit longer. His implant is very high, so I leave this a little bit longer so it's a more natural line. Otherwise he would have a much too long neckline and it doesn't suit him very well. Your neckline grabt ook een beetje omhoog. Ja, maar anderen dus die nekharen hebben dan naar beneden toe. Dat begint bij jou al een beetje omhoog te kruipen. Wat betekent dat? Dat je uiteindelijk... Zowel van voor als van achter een klein beetje die implant gaat verliezen. 
En dat je uiteindelijk als oud mannetje weer eigenlijk een heel klein bolletje haar hebt. Of geen haar. Ja, het zal heel, heel, heel glad nekjes zijn. Het voordeel is je hoeft je neklijn niet bij te houden. Dan kan je ook al uh, een, een prognose doen van hoe lang ik nog nee, heb. Nee, nee, nee. Het is ook een about how long it takes to get into the bold hairstyles. For, well, he has manly uh, characters in his hair, so you can see that. His hair is falling out on some parts where most men have. And we're talking about that. It's crazy stuff to talk about, but it, it's natural. You get it into your chair when you are a hairdresser. So you see this, uh, not that much, that the neckline is uh, going up. But sometimes you see, and the same is on the front. It's the manly uh, um, hair fall. So uh, when, you get, when you get more manly hormones, You get, mostly see by men above the 20 that the hair implant on the front is going to the back and you cannot do anything about it or you have to work with hormone but that's not the case. Can you schattig make of how old I am and all of my hair? No. Bij mijn zoon begon het toen hij 21 was, bij mij 27, dus meestal is het tussen de zeg maar, 20 en, en 25, 26. Ja. 22 jaar. Ja, er zit meestal daartussen. Vroeger had je nog wel eens van die mannen, die moesten dan in dienst en dan zeiden ze ja, en toen moest ik de helm op en toen werd ik kaal. Okay. Of dat het met die helm te maken had, want dat is ja. niet zo. Nee. Jij bent ook kaal. Ja, gelukkig wel. Hoe zou het lukken? Ja, dat vind ik helemaal niet erg. Ik vind het wel fijn hoor, dat is wel makkelijk. Het is wel grappig dat we een kale kap hebben. Ja, vertrouw je niet hè? <laughs> <laughs> Never trust a bold hair dresser because it's terrible. You can't cut. No, it's not true. I think a bold hair dresser doesn't need to uh, take care of his own hair, so he has more <laughs> to do with the hair of so another. I never worried about my hair. No. And if I would, I would buy me a wig. But then every week another wig. <laughs> so that I have crazy hairstyles. So that I think it's wonderful to have punk hairstyle or mm-hmm. something like that. What hair had you before? I had, uh, I got krillend hair. Okay. Talk about what, what kind of hair I had. I had curls, a lot of curly hair. And I became hairdresser and it was very late, I was 27. Then I was bald in a year. So I didn't have any curly hair left. Now you see in the same time I work to the left side. Now this I left a little bit longer. I did this because the implant is going up. So I leave it a little bit longer and then I just connect the sides to that. Just in a natural way. It's a bit like scalping clay. Using all the roundings. So take the natural fall. The natural fall is, is a wave, always. And then it goes to the center again. So take the hairs up, lay them into that same wave, get into the wave and follow the natural lines. Especially when it's not, um, depending on how short it is, but just when you want some hair and leave some hair, you get a more playable effect. When I would cut this up like a man's barber hairstyle, he would get a real flat head and I don't want that because that shape, I don't, don't suit him at all. Now with a hot knife you can do uh, contour lines. So when I want to create the contour with a normal knife, then I have to do this because with a hot knife I would burn his skin. Now for so far cutting, so now I'm going to create a nice contour line and that I do with normal scissors and normal knife. Took my Kiona 6 cobalt 
full air to the back. Pull air to the front, creating a nice rounding. Make sure the lines are clean. Put a little slice technique in the side beard. So I hold this line ultra ultra soft. And make no hard line of it, so don't use a knife on this. I love it to have a soft side beard, so don't have the hard lines in it. I'm, you may know that I can do hard lines because you saw a lot of videos. In this case, it doesn't suit. Do the same on the other side. Again, a little slice technique in the underlay lines of the, the, the side beard. Creating a soft line. Pulling the ear to the back. Get into the roundings of the ear. Minor adjustments to the side beard. Pull the ear to the front. Go in. Clean the line. Don't force anything. Just leave it the natural way. Lay the hairs to the front. Make the line a little bit softer by slice cutting. Come to the other line. Now I have here a crown with my small Clio and a clipper. I take a little bit away of this, this action, but it goes against my hair fall. I want to take a little bit off. I can make a softer line and connect it to the rest. And I have to because otherwise it's getting too high. Do the same on the other side. Give it a nice clean neckline. Watch for the jumpy effect. Take my cobalt 6 again. And just freely work the hair a little bit up. Not too much. Just to be sure that I have a nice clean neckline. Create some softness in the neckline. I also use a point cut technique on the side where the crown area is not that heavy. Here I have a lot, a lot of air between his hair. And to make it the same, I create some air in this side of his neckline by point cutting with ultra fine four and a half cobalt scissors. So now I can clean up the contour line and go on to blow dry his hair. Now I don't have a lot of hair on the contour, so I can do this with a small clipper. And he has a blonde color, so it's also hard to see where the hairs are. Clean all 
the hex I don't need anymore, and he also don't need. I call him blow dry his hair. To get a nice flowing hairline, I use a product of Coldwell. It's super ego, just use a small amount. It's a very playable clay. Created some volume by pulling on layers. And when you are a man and you have a problem like this, you can also also massage the upper head a bit. But mostly there is not enough blood enough on the top because your skin is hanging down and when you're getting older it's more hanging down like, like when you're young so when you massage the lines you get more blood into your uh, skin and that's better for the hairs Ben je van een slaap of niet? Nee Ik moet natuurlijk opletten ook voor mezelf Maar dat kun je zelf ook I don't want to take me to the okay. When well, you want more volume on top, you use your fingers and turn in them. Left, right, left, right. So, on the skin, there's more hair because it's a little bit turned around. And then only the ends you play with. And you have already the massage you want. The nice thing about using a clay is that you can every time restyle it. Just take a little bit of water on your hands and make it into your own hairstyle the way you want. And it stays in your hair and a gel can come out and look like you have dandruff, but not a lot. A lot of people have that. So far, blow drying. And this is his new hairstyle. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. You wait till my turn to show them your new hairstyle. And did it feel different than the last time you had a haircut? It did. And what was the difference? A more skilled barber. Okay. Yeah, it's nice when there's you can uh, give as a barber the trust to the person you do. Mm -hmm. Because you need it. Because then it's a visit to a hairdresser is a little party. Mm -hmm. But thank you for modeling. Thank you. Thank you.